Well, welcome back to the Word Expanded, the Gospels. I got it right this time. Uh, we are in Matthew chapter 8. We're in verses 18 through 22, and it says this, Now when Jesus <clears throat> saw a crowd around him, he gave orders to go over to the other side. A scribe came up and said to him, Teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus said to him, Foxes have holes, birds <clears throat> of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Another of the disciples said to him, Lord, let me go first and bury my father. And Jesus said to him, follow me, leave the dead to bury their own dead. We, we don't like this. This isn't a teddy bear Jesus. God loves us so much thing. The fact that he would let the dead bury the dead, just leave our, our parents, right? With, oh, no, 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 that, that's, that's all of this stuff, right? That's an analogy. And then God's just saying, like, listen, you know, stay away from dead things, all, all these things. No, no, what God is saying, he means it. Right? Listen, <laughs> you got to count the cost for following me. The cost is it's going to cost you everything. You have to be willing to give up everything. Now, that, that, that creates great stress because people want to put marriage ahead of God. People want to put families ahead of God with their work ahead of God, church ahead of God, uh, friends ahead of God. They want to put everything ahead of God. It's our natural desire to worship something we see. When the Israelites uh, left Egypt and Moses went up on the hill, the people said, show us this God. Show us this God. And, and Aaron conveniently throws a bunch of gold into the fire and it pops out as a calf. Like, this is the God. We, we, we have this desire to see our God. We want to see our God. So we make other things our God. And God says, no, you got to be willing to give all of that up. It's a very simple checklist. Right? Start with the things that are least important to you, maybe, and go down. Or start with the most important and go down. But go through the things that God has given you, the things that are dear to you, the things that you know you, you just sell all out for. And ask yourself if you're willing to give those things up for God. I'm guessing most of those, if we're good Christian Sunday school people, we're going to say, yep, yep, I'm willing, I'm willing, I'm willing. But then ask yourself the harder question. And the harder question is, have you given those things up for God? Mm, that probably is a little bit of a problem, isn't it? Think about the last time that God said, go to church, but you said, oh, I got a family day. Think, think about the last time that you skipped church for work. Think about the last time, but again, it's not all about church, but think about what are the things that God has asked you to give up for him? And you said, no, sorry, can't, can't come to this church thing because of this, or this, or this, or this, or this. Then, then ask yourself, that when's the last time you said, I can't come into work because I have to do this? God told me I have to go see my neighbor. When's the last time that you took a personal day to just go do the things of God? Not go to a doctor's appointment, not go to all those things, the things you want God's approval for. When's the last time that you made God first? Going to church Sunday morning, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, does not make God first. Well, this means you scheduled them into your schedule. But you, you ask, if anything else came up, would you go to church? Is God the most important thing? Make sure that your words and your actions match. Right? You could tell people all you want that God is the most important thing, but would they, would they prosecute you on that? Would they come up with a conviction because, yep, God is the most important thing? Be brave. Maybe you should ask a couple people if they think God is the most important thing in your world. Get ready for the answer. We'll see you next time on The Word Expanded the Gospels.